Welcome to Common Man Cocktails, I'm your host Derek Schomer and today we're going to show, this is actually a review for hardware instead of software, where software would be drinking. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're just gonna recreate again a Mai Tai original from uh, Don the Beachcomber, but we've done that already. It's not about making a cocktail. This is about reviewing a product that helps to make a cocktail, the Stone Cask Football Cocktail Shaker. So with kickoff tea style stand. Boom, let's get a kickoff tea style stand. That's what it kinda looks like. That's some high res photos. Uh, blah, 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 two year warranty. So, you have a two year warranty, stainless steel, still recommended to shake by, or to not shake, to clean by hand. And I have some theories behind that, but whatever. So here you go. This is the shaker. It looks like a football. Ha, ah, football. Football season, football in America, not football that you play in soccer. Hand egg, if you will. So here's the lid, right? So you have a lid, it's a four piece shaker. So there's your lid. You take the lid off. Now you have more pieces. It's like a Russian toy doll or whatever they call those things. The cap, boom, there's your strainer. But look, ice no fit in there. Pop this off, now you have your four pieces. So you have your, your top piece for you know, locking down the cocktail. Here's the here is the killer feature. There's two. First off, it has a nice little bump right here, so you can actually pull it with fingers, especially if you're like me and you bite your nails. It just happens. But there's also a rubber gasket here, right? There's a gasket here, and there's a gasket here, right there. Boom. See it? I think that's probably why they ask you to hand dry and hand wash them, because. I found that when you put this stuff in the dishwasher, and I'm sure you'd you probably be able to do this for a, quite a while without a problem, maybe two, three years. And I mean, you may get some staining that you could just brush off. I, I, it's stainless steel, so it's not gonna stain, but this is gonna dry and crack, and it's gonna make it harder and harder to hold a seal, I've, I've noticed that. I mean, it's the same thing with these. You could put these in the dishwasher for a while, but after a while, this pin starts to that's not stainless steel, starts to rust and get a little bit uh, fragile. And then, you know, that is your key point for squeezing. So when this thing starts to splinter and crack, the metal loses its integrity and boom, you break it in half. You're like, oh, that's a piece of crap. Usually I think the dry cycle that does that, not necessarily the wash cycle. But regardless, we're just teaching you how to use your equipment correctly. So what this does is it adds a nice tight grip to it. Same on this side. That's the awesome sauce. So that is the shaker from a hardware perspective. $29.99, you could get them. I'll, I'll put a link below on where you can buy them. I can't sell them at awesomedrinks.com uh, primarily because their minimum order is so crazy. Um, I, I can't invest to buy like 50 of these things in hopes to sell uh, some number of them. Uh, so we're not carrying it. Maybe someday that'll change. I know a lot of our fans buy from us because they trust us. Sorry in this case, but what can I do? I, if I could buy like five or 10, I would totally do it. Now, the next thing you wanna test is ice. I'm gonna use my perfect ice. This is, we do sell these, uh, the Tavolo Perfect Ice. These ice cubes are friggin' rad. And so the real test is, can I fit them in here? And in most cases I can. This one I'm not able to, boom, done. And I think that really is, is the key, is, is if you have large ice, then you may end up having more of a, a problem. Some people are using crushed ice, especially for this recipe. Crushed ice is a shaker and not so, not so great, but we also have round ice, those work. These really work better, apparently, if I put them in in a specific direction. So I got three ice cubes in there. You know what, I'm gonna throw four in there, just because I, I really wanna have this drink chilled up, right? So, Boom, four. Now I'm gonna throw a couple of these in my weighted rocks glass, and we're good to go. This looks really small. I was very taken aback by the by its size. Compared to the other shakers we have, like the neon shakers, I got a green one stuck in the neon. You know, these, look at them, they're friggin' huge. But these actually, they're, they're, they hold a good amount, and we're gonna test it, because we're gonna do an ounce and a half of Myers rum. Right, so ounce and a half of Myers rum here. Boom, boom, boom. Pour it into the shaker. And you really need to have the foot. 
I, I don't really, at first I thought it was, oh, that's kind of neat. It comes with a foot, makes it look more like a football. Then I realized when you're building a cocktail, it's hard to take the cap off like this while holding that. Trust me, I've tried. We're gonna do a half ounce of Cointreau or an orange liqueur. Sorry about the noise behind me. I just didn't feel like shutting off the heating system for this recording. Um, boom, we're gonna do, in our cocktail that we made on the show with Mr. Curtis, we're using his brands and I'm gonna change it up a little bit. I'm using the Captain Morgan limited edition because it's freaking awesome. Um, I'm also, and I also did that when I tested this initially for some of the photos. All right, now we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of lime. Boom, one half, perfect. Right, now we're going to do an ounce of grapefruit juice. You can see when I do it on the show, typically I put all this into the small cocktail decanters, but I really, my focus is really just getting this sucker reviewed up. Plus tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I, I didn't want to put too much crazy prep into this. Where the heck did I put that? Okay, now we're gonna do a quarter ounce of falernum syrup. Boom. All right, and then, should have probably put that in first, but whatever. Then we're gonna do two dashes of Angostura. And you know what I forgot? Hold on, I'm gonna edit this, but I, I forgot my absinthe. This is the way Kurt wrote this. And through the magic of editing, I'm gonna do small dash of Pernod. Absinthe. Now you get your ice in there, which you could you know put in first, last, whatever. That comes up to how you want to do your personal preference. Now, where'd I put all my little pieces? You guys are like, dude, they're right in front of you. And I'm like, dude, I don't see them anywhere. Okay, we're back. <laughs> One more time. I found the pieces there under the lid. I'm an idiot. Boom. Put the cap on. Put the cap cap on. Put the cap 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 on. We're going to shake it. We're going to get a shake on. All right, so, first problem you're going to encounter. Look at, it is freaking cold. Cold, so these will have a similar situation, but because it's a little bit wider, you get a little, you can, you can kind of lighten up on it. These, with the, the vinyl, which are very popular, keep the cold away from your hands. These are freaking cold. My hand is, like, you actually get the cramp. Minor. I mean, here's the test, all right? So when you have a chilled up drink like this, two things happen. First, you can never take this thing apart once it's on. Second issue, when you're pouring it, this has a small spout, so you're going to get a, a conflict with air, but yet it still comes out really quick, which is nice. That was gonna be my main concern when I saw the, when I opened it up and it was like, I don't know, man. That's kind of got a uh, a small strainer hole, but for some reason it works, and I believe it's just because the the hole in the design, the actual strainer holes are large enough. If they were any smaller, like some of the original um, mason shakers were pretty tiny, so they start to the air has a hard time getting through to let that liquid out and you have a slow pour and sometimes a dribble. This one with that little lip on it, it comes out really easy on top of which, because of the way it's designed, it's almost got that, that cone nature where it's not gonna dribble down the sides. Um, now, just for fun, I wanna see if I can pull it apart. Heck yes. The way this is sealed, not only does it make it so it seals tight, but it makes it so that when the product or when the, the steel expands, shrinks, contracts, and changes shape from the cold, it doesn't lock into place where you basically gotta run, like those cobblers, the three-piece cobblers, you gotta run them under hot water and, and try and get them back to normal shape so you can get them apart, unless they have the concave nature like the uh, Parisian shakers. So now you're done. You can put that down, you can make another drink with it. Uh, so really, the only, the only if there was a, a, an annoyance factor, I think the biggest one would be that the hole is just fine enough to be able to put in these uh, these type of ice cubes. If you have a larger ice cube, you're gonna be hammering them 
it, where when you have something like this, it's or, or pint glass, it's pretty easy to dump any size ice in there. So that is gonna be the major hang up, I think. Other than that, it gets cold, shakers get cold, you have ice, stainless steel. If it doesn't get cold and it was made of stainless steel, now you have a problem. And if you wanted to insulate it, it's gonna be double that size, awkward, and it's, it's gonna cost you like double the cost. So I think it's done right on the design from that perspective. The drink is cold, a little bit of a sour twang to it, grapefruit juice, lime. So the drink tastes as expected. The shaker works as expected. Cleaning wise, clean it by hand. It's not hard. If you're too lazy to use this and clean it, then you're probably too lazy to actually build a cocktail. So I'm guessing you wouldn't be the target audience. Cleaning wise, water, soap, done. Wash it down, throw it in the cabinet, on the stand, wherever you put your bar tools. <laughs> Quite honestly, in this case, I say you just throw it with your football paraphernalia and people will be like, dude, that's cool. Is it like a trophy? Would you, you know, it, it, it has that level of, of kind of neatness to it. So while you're not using it, especially for those big football fans out there, I think this is kind of cool. You might want to consider this. It's $30. My personal opinion, pretty costly, but $30 is pretty much the pricing for a lot of niche shakers. This, there's nothing surprising about pricing on this. Uh, the mason shakers are the same way, and the difference really, an mason shaker, it's a mason jar with a specialized top, and you're paying the $30. This, you're getting a full custom design. Uh, when you're looking at these, yeah, maybe 12 bucks, but it's, it's a shaker tin. Nobody's, I mean, people obviously are gonna go, whoa, dude. But for a standout, neat, idea gift item for people who are into football and happen to be into cocktails really i think this breaks multiple genres you could probably get this cocktail shaker for a football fan who doesn't even drink a lot of cocktails because it's neat it's kind of like one of those oh that's really neat oh it's a cocktail shaker that's cool i'm gonna put this up on my shelf maybe they never use it as a cocktail shaker but it's still a neat showpiece so it really has two purposes but again if you know a person who's into football and is into cocktails I know plenty of people we have a whole common man cocktails fantasy football league going on right now they're into cocktails they're into football right think of those type of people perfect holiday gift that's why I wanted to get this on and out before Black Friday so people can start to look at this for Cyber Monday and I'll put a link below you don't have to follow that link you can google it if you want the link below in full transparency is an Amazon link affiliate I wanted to see if I can make a little bit of money off of it so if you do want to help our show and, and promote us and help us grow use the link below when you purchase it that way I get my 5% or whatever it is I'm not a huge fan of affiliate links that's why I bought a store but what am I gonna do that's it that is the stone cask football shaker great gift tiny but makes a full-size drink what else could you need from a cocktail utility we're done everydaydrinkers.com if you want to get some of this cool stuff officerdrinks.com and again go out and get yourself the football shaker if it's something you're into it is a quality piece I totally would would back this as a as a as a product if I could purchase it in the store because it's just it just fits um, and it's built well and I'm a I'm an engineer I understand how things should be done and this is done right a little pricey but it's done right everydaydrinkers.com for more videos we're done we're teaching how to drink where are you little pieces OMG really really. Look at that, I'm gone.